So today we're getting started on the Aklawaha Prairie Restoration Area. Let's just flip you around. There we go. And uh, well, we'll just get started hiking. I'll uh, get some videos when we get something unique. And uh, should be a nice day. Looking forward to it. Well, this is a rather unique look. I just thought I'd get it on uh, video here. I think it looks pretty cool. Kind of an awkward hike. Uh, anytime you're sharing a trail with horses, you know, they kick up the sand, so it's kind of tough hiking through here. That's why at the Santos, they separate the trails. You got bike trails, and then you've got uh, walking trails, and then you got horse trails. So the trail kind of broke out onto a road here. And uh, looks like we're right here by the river. Kind of kind of cool. I'm going to go over here and get a look at it. You can tell by the marker here that we are on the trail. So it's looking pretty cool. They did say it was very pretty to walk by the river. So we'll just kind of get a little video here. Wow, that is, that is, man, this is, where's my fishing pole? <laughs> I guess you'd have to get over there on the other side. Although I see, looks like a no trespassing sign there. But man, you could, I bet there's some good fish in that water right there. Oh my gosh. But uh, hard to tell where the trail's going at this point, I guess. I'm gonna go up that road right there. But uh, we'll stay by the river here for just a minute. You see what I'm seeing? Man, that's cool. Alrighty. Well, we'll get some more when we get another look. But uh, I'm just assuming the trail's going that way. So uh, I am still on the trail, kind of a weird hike. But uh, look at here, boy. You can get down with your fishing pole right here. That's, uh, that would be a good place to, to throw in. But I know that this is the trail because there's the marker right there. So let's just keep on going. So I wonder, <laughs> I think it's a house right there, just kind of sandwiched right into the woods. It must be a way to driveway of some sort to get back in here. But uh, you can see it's just kind of winding along the river here. I guess I'm, I mean, I have seen a marker, so this is, this must be the hike. It's kind of a weird hike, you know, not really like a, a trail per se. Uh, anyway, let's keep on going. So I thought I'd just kind of show you this here. See, if you walk up on this knoll, that's probably meant to be the trail, you know, but there's the marker on the tree over here, and there's one here, so it'd be a pretty easy hike just to stay up here on this road. But, you know, and then you got stuff like this, but, you know, what I find shocking, it just blows my mind that we have these wonderful places to go right, you know, within a stone's throw of the huge city of the villages and other small towns and I'm the only one <laughs> the only one back here on this trail you know I mean it's great I, I like being by myself but uh, I'm just surprised that uh, people don't come out and and enjoy a good hike you know just right by the river here it's just a gorgeous day oh my gosh it's I think it's a high of 67 today which is just perfect for hiking not a bug around anyway you kind of see what i'm seeing looks like it's just going to continue on like this so that'll be good we'll get some good exercise and uh if i see anything unique we'll stop but you know it's really there's the river there it just kind of kind of meanders along the river if you wanted to get right down here and just hike along in the grass although it gets kind of gets kind of tough we got some planes around check that out isn't that cool Kind of makes you feel like you're in World War II as he's flying doing some flips. I hope I'm getting him on the video here. There he goes. All right. We have a lot of a lot of planes like that around here. Kind of a weird feeling. My one that I like a lot. You know, this is my kind of hike. But because uh, you you know you you you're sandwiched between the the river and what I'm seeing is a swamp right over here and it's kind of kind of cool that you're hiking right in between 
the two of them, it gives you a feeling like you're, you know, like Planet of the Apes, man. You're, like, <laughs> you're, the, you're the last person on Earth, and uh, you're just out here uh, hiking uh, on the trail. And uh, But you can see it's kind of breaking out into a marshy area. Just gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I didn't. Nobody's ever mentioned this to me. I've never seen a video. Well, I've never tried to find a video on it because I, I can't even pronounce the word, the Indian word for, that names all of this. But uh, I just kind of want to show you, look around. See, it just kind of meanders along, goes back that way. Once again, though, I don't know why they're cutting all this grass. You know, this is a, it's a lot of gas to be coming back in here and just, I would just cut out the road and, and leave the rest, leave it be. But uh, let's keep on going. I thought I'd get this. The bus just rode by. I guess you can rent a tour. <laughs> and, and ride a bus back in here. I'd rather walk it myself, but uh, that was cool looking bus though, wasn't it? I really like it. They're stopping there for probably some pictures, I imagine. Let's just keep on going. So before the trail makes a turn, let's get a little selfie here with the sun in the background. So you can kind of see what I'm seeing. Man, just awesome. Awesome. So here's here's where we're heading. So it's just kind of meandering on up this way. And uh, let's just get that sun without my face in the picture. Isn't that awesome? And then, you know, if, if you want another hike, you could hike down that right there. There's just a ton of hiking back in here that you could just have days and days I'll be back I can guarantee that I'm going to be coming back many many times to this spot I I really like this this is uh it's good well it's a different different look than the Florida Trail so uh, let's keep on going so this is really really cool came up on a little structure here got the pipes going through looks like this is uh, falling down <laughs> what's left of a door just sitting there kind of cool and uh, I'm surprised they don't just come and clean that up a bit. But uh, we got this going over here. So we're going to go out on this and uh, just check it out. Man, look at this. Isn't this cool? So I just got, well, we got some, you know me, we got to read what they have for us to read here. So we'll just go out. Let's, uh... man, this is awesome. So let's uh, let's swing around and uh, well, there's another observation deck right over there. We'll go there next. And uh, so, restoring the Upper Aqualá River Basin after seven decades of drainage, river alteration, and lake stabilization, aquatic and wildlife habitat is returning throughout the Upper Oklawaha River Basin. The Sunny Hill Restoration Project leads to the recovery of thousands of acres of floodplain wetlands in this basin and then you can read the rest and this is showing what it looks like and uh, so here's a here's the a good picture of the restoration area I guess that's the well it's a it's in yellow so I assume that's the trail it goes all the way around that, that's gonna be a fun fun hike to get all of that in and uh, and then this is just kind of a a map of the area we've seen that already um, so this is kind of showing the historic uses of the river basin so you can kind of see the pictures here I'll, I'll cut the phone off here in just a second and uh, let you uh, and I'll just sit here and enjoy these pictures that's pretty cool looking so we came up upon a, a nice little structure here and it looks like, see, with the yellow markers there, that the bridge is going to go across. We'll have to stop there for the day. Boy, I hate daylight savings now. But uh, let's just get a look. Boy, I tell you, if you wanted to bring the little miss out here and uh, just have a nice day, you could sit in that little chair right there and just get that look. In fact, let's, let's sit in the chair. All right. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, it's just kind of... Rock a bye, baby, on the treetops. Oh man, isn't this awesome?
All right, let's go get a the view from that bridge. And uh, and then I got to turn back because it's going to get dark. I, it was a bit of a ride out here on the auto motorcycle. And uh, it uh, wouldn't want to ride back in the dark unless I have to. So let's get going. So I'm not sure what this... <laughs> It's a bench mark, whatever that means. Please do not disturb. Hope I don't fall through the stairs here. It looks pretty rotten. But uh, boy, I tell you, if you did fall through, that'd be a rude awakening. <laughs> I wonder if there's gators down in there. I'm kind of scared getting up on here. But uh, let's take a look. So that's where we just came from. I'm not going any further on this thing. I'm hoping I can get off of it. But you can see the, the little water goes on that way with the sun. Oh my God. Can you see what I'm seeing? Is that the most beautiful sight? Oh my goodness, I'm gonna get out of here just a little further. Really, really cool. Let's keep on going. Well, weight limit, 10 tons. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be okay. So, all right. But this is the, uh, the bridge over the river. I guess the trail is going back this way. I can see a vehicle back here. Maybe this is another parking area. He, by the way, a couple houses along the river here. Kids out on the dock there just enjoying the day. So let's uh, let's come around and get a view. Look at that. Oh, where's my fishing pole? Where's my fishing pole? Well, you could just drop it right off of the, uh, the bridge here. I wonder, probably some law against that. They always want to, the power of no. There's no power in yes. There's always power in the no. So, because if you can if you can say no, you got power. If you say yes, you got no power. So let's just see what's up here, and uh, and then we'll turn. Around. Boy, I don't want to give it up. I maybe just hike till dark and then hike back with a, my headlamp. Boy, you could just spend a long time back here. It looks like that's a. It's not marked as a trail, but it'd be fun to hike. And it looks like I'm coming out into a parking area which is pretty cool. I have no clue where I have to find it on the auto motorcycle. But uh, anyway, let's just get up here and take a look at that. So look at here. We got these white markers going this way. That must be another trail that goes up this side of the, the river. And then, uh, well, this is private property. Okay, it's to the right. But I don't see anything showing that this is the trail. Um, I don't think they, they would switch from yellow to white unless that's a different, I would think that's a different trail. But anyway, this is kind of what it's doing. Sometimes it's good to be clueless in life. <laughs> Kitchen deliveries, and, and then you just kind of meander over into this parking lot. I don't see if this is open to the public or if it's just for whatever business this is. They don't have a sign. I'd be real curious to know what it is. They got the golf carts and whatnot so you know i have to come back and explore all this someday just to see what it is maybe if i saw somebody out and about you could ask them what this was all about anyway well <laughs> curiosity is going to kill this cat one day i'll keep telling you that turns out that's a place i've actually seen it from the other side riding the uh, auto motorcycle it's called the refuge and uh it's for uh you know drug addicts or uh, addictions of all sorts. Uh, I imagine probably a few people that uh, have been convicted of crimes and whatnot. And uh, here I am walking around <laughs> with, with, with the phone taking film, you know. Luckily I didn't take too much and uh, I saw then the security didn't uh, bust me and think I was a, a resident there, although it looked like a cool place to stay. Uh, so anyway, I got out of there without uh, getting myself in too much trouble. <laughs> So anyway, we're going heading back. This will be it for the video for today. We'll come back and uh, I don't see, I was looking for more yellow markers to see where the trail's going. And uh, if you look this way, I don't see any, but nothing wrong with going that way. I guess gotta, can't do it today. But uh, here's the, uh, the look of the sun setting across the marsh. I'll let you enjoy that for just a minute while I hike. Swing it on to see what I'm seeing. All right, peace be with you, my brother and sisters. 
So I'm getting ready to make the turn, but I just wanted you to get a look at this before I do. You know what we ought to do? Come out here and uh, put the uh, phone here and we'll do a time-lapse video. The only problem is I, <laughs> I'd have to hang out all day. I wouldn't want to leave the phone here because somebody would probably steal it if they did come down this trail. But that would be cool to watch that. Uh, okay, so let's just take a look. Uh, you see the, you can kind of see the water over there, the lone lone tree there, and then the trail's going to turn back into go by the river, and won't be much to see from that point on. All right. So what would be fun? You can kind of see the water out there with the sunset, and uh, but it'd be good to to hike down that road right there one evening and enjoy the, that view I wonder if it goes uh, wonder if that goes all the way around the, the, the marsh here who knows I don't see any markers saying that's a trail but uh, oh well well I thought this was cool because I was I think I was walking by the river so I didn't see this on the way out but I thought with the Sun in the background and that kind of green grass swampy area there with the tree right here uh, see isn't that cool all right well kind of kind of fun when you get to see stuff on the way back that you didn't see on the way up you know the the one thing I would change about this trail and I just wanted you to kind of see you know, wouldn't it be nice to have some benches you know somewhere along the river where you could just kind of sit and enjoy but there's you know it's literally just no place to stop and just take in the moment uh you know well, i mean you can stop and sit on the ground i guess but it'd be nice to have a little little picnic area or a picnic bench or something back in here but uh it's just you can see it's just just kind of meanders down this road here all right here's why i like hiking in the evening you get to see how the, the wildlife come out so there's a couple of birds and there was a whole flock over here. I missed it. And then uh, over here, there's about four or five deer, big ones too, big, big white tail, bushy tails. And then back there, I don't think, I swear it looked like a seal. It was black. It wasn't an armadillo. And uh, it shot across the trail. Really cool looking. I was like, man, what the heck's a seal doing around here? I, I, I'm sure it couldn't have been, but anyway, so we, we, we are seeing the, the wildlife on the way back, and that's really cool. You know, one more look at that sunset, kind of get that in the background there. I hope there's no snakes down in here. <laughs> Although I love snakes, but I saw this rock walking along. Look at that. Isn't that cool? At least I think that's a rock. I don't know. Wow, that is just a neat, uh, neat thing to see. And uh, I got to hike back up through this <laughs> and then to get back to the trail. So I always got to finish the video with that welcome sight. There's the auto motorcycle still there, right in the middle of nowhere. Isn't this cool? There's a whole flock of birds flying in. We got back, boy, they're in formation. Isn't that cool? I uh, got the tree in the way, but uh, yeah. Hey, I got to show you the uh, the new claw, the Ram claw that I bought for the phone. You know, one thing when you're out riding, you, and you can't get directions <laughs> with the phone underneath the seat, which is where I was keeping it. But I bought that Ram Claw, and I'll show you what that looks like. So there's the new addition to the auto motorcycle. That's the Ram Claw. 
it just holds the phone right there so if you're following directions now without Bluetooth I can't hear it but I can always look down and see where the you know the lines are showing so that's pretty cool huh I like it and uh, anyway let's get uh, man I gotta dress up more I took temperature really dropped and I'm gonna be doing about 60 65 miles an hour that's gonna be cold every stitch of clothing I got is going on there's a whole bunch of stuff underneath that seat oh boy.